this? Can, can Goldberg, Goldberg do this? He can't. He can't. He, can. he will. Jackhammer. What's good y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video and uh you can tell by the intro clip I don't I don't I don't even know what to say to that by the title of this video you know Bray Wyatt his character the fiend literally died today I couldn't even come up with the traditional funny intro I've been doing so far this year I, I couldn't even like think of doing that for this video because I'm just I'm disgusted bruh those intros are usually for when I'm having a good day and I, you know, I want to make you guys laugh at the beginning of the video or, in, you know, get hyped up for the video. This is different. This is straight toxicness at its finest. And I have no one to blame but myself because I'm in a relationship where people around me, they keep telling me. Hey, you need to let let it go. AKA WWE is the relationship I'm in. Hey, you need to let that go. They'll never change. They'll, they'll never be as good as they once were. And I have hope because you know NXT be showing me mad love, but the main roster has its hits and misses. And the Fiend was one of the few things on the main roster that honestly kept me wanting to even watch the main roster. So I'm in this toxic relationship and then you can imagine watching someone that you care about, that you've known for many, many years, cheat on you. And you're just sitting there like, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Why, why, how could you do such a thing to me? And they tell you, well, you knew this was going to happen. You know, I be in people's DMs all the time. Well, I don't know why you're surprised. And then I look at myself and I'll be like, you're right. I did see those messages of you in the DMs and other people's DMs. I shouldn't be surprised. This is a, the exact situation you would think. It's clear as day. If the Fiend is going against Goldberg, you have the Fiend go over because he needs this more than a 53 year old man that does not wrestle like that anymore he needs this more than goldberg you would think simple booking have goldberg do his quick little moves have the fiend kick out of everything have him win the match no they have him lose his character is dead wwe killed bray wyatt for the second time I don't think you guys understand how hard it is to get over, especially in today's climate when it comes to social media and how people's attention span is so short. It's not easy getting over. It's not easy getting over once. It's not easy getting even more over for the second time around. Bray Wyatt, his original gimmick as the Wyatt, you know, well, not his original, his very first gimmick was Husky Harris. That was trash on arrival. But him being repackaged and the Wyatt family, that was dope. It it had some momentum. He lost it once he lost to John Cena at WrestleMania. Gained it again when he won the WWE Championship. Oh, he lost the title to Randy Orton, which kind of killed his momentum completely. He lost the WWE Championship. No one really cared for him at that point. And his character floundered. And he went away for a while, got repackaged into this Mr. Rogers, then sadistic, crazy, evil type character. Two splits of the same person. And it, it worked. 
The Fiend and Bray Wyatt coexisted. It worked. It was the most over thing. He started losing steam when WWE made an idiotic move and let Seth Rollins win at Hell in a Cell. He started losing steam, but he gained it back. And now he's completely done. Him losing this match has killed him indefinitely. No one will care about The Fiend because this guy literally lost to someone in his 50s that does not wrestle like that anymore. He is the true definition of a part-timer. We haven't seen Goldberg in forever. And he comes back, gets a title shot opportunity, and loses. I mean, Goldberg wins. The Fiend that's been there week in, week out. Pretty much the most popular individual in the company. But all that hard work, time, and energy in creating this character that is hella over to lose. And, like, maybe it was, like, a five-minute match. Like, I just, I don't. I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. And now, it's probably, most likely, I would be surprised, but it's probably going to be Roman Reigns versus Goldberg. Spear versus Spear. I don't care, bro. I just don't care. Ah. I, I, I I don't even know what to say. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm in a toxic relationship and I'm the one to blame because I keep coming back after this so-called person that I love so much cheats on me and comes back with the sad puppy eyes and in in the waterworks. I accept her back into my arms graciously and I say I forgive her. WWE, I don't know if I can forgive you this time, bro. The one thing that was keeping me watching the main roster itself, you killed. I literally don't care about anything that happens on Raw and SmackDown. Outside of the Edge situation, that's that's keeping me around. But this 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 is a major blow. Um, I don't I don't even know what to say. I don't, I'm, I don't even know what to say, bro. Just, we need to have a moment of silence for the death of Bray Wyatt again. But I think this is it. I don't, I don't think you can come, I don't know how he can come back from this, but we need to have a moment of silence for Bray Wyatt. I'm sorry, Bray. I am sorry that WWE does not value you as much as they should. I am so sorry that WWE keeps allowing part-timers like Goldberg to get the spotlight and won't allow their new talent to continue to flourish for the future. And I want to apologize to myself for thinking WWE would do right. I should know better than anybody else toxic relationships always in toxic so at one point or another wwe will ultimately metaphorically cheat on me again and do something idiotic that's all i had to say man um comment down below your thoughts on this travesty like, I, I want to get y'all opinion. Am I the only one? Am I tripping here? Because I don't I don't think I'm tripping. I think I think I'm in my right mind when I say WWE main roster wise, they are complete and utterly moronic. Mainly Vince, because Vince okay this. This is completely stupid, and they have single-handedly killed their best character they've had in a very long time comment down below if you agree with my sentiments um yeah i don't think i'll be checking out much main roster stuff unless it's pertaining to the edge situation edge and randy orton that's been pretty good that's actually that's been that's actually been some 
some good television. Outside of that, I don't give a fuck about anything else. I don't care about WrestleMania. Other than that match, I don't give two shits about anything else going on. Both brands, they all, both brands fucking suck. So, shout out to NXT for being the best thing going on WWE television. And shout out to AEW doing their thing. Looking forward to their pay-per-view as well. I believe it's this weekend. So, looking forward to that. AEW killing it, man. Uh, but yeah, I'm done. I'll see y'all on the next video. And uh, appreciate y'all kicking with me. I'm sorry my energy is not there. I'm just, I'm just disgusted. <laughs>